San Francisco 49ers, they were – this this was the team last year. All season long, this was the dominant team. And then they just they just pissed around the whole Super Bowl, kept making mistakes, kept keeping the Chiefs in the game. And as we all could predict, the Chiefs came back and took it from them. Now, what do the 49ers do as an encore? They still have a decent amount of that squad left, but I mean, their window, their window is not going to last much longer. Are they going to be able to do anything to finally make it happen? Um, I don't think they're going to make it happen. I think that this team just can't get past themselves. And there's um like I, I think they're not only are they going to have to start paying Brock Purdy, but they're also going to have to try to keep uh, Debo Samuel. And at this point, Ayuk is gone. Um, he wants out. They're not going to give him a contract. He may play the whole year, but um, I don't know if I would put um, all my eggs in that basket. I think he's going to be a little uh, holdout. Um, Leonard Floyd is a huge addition. Um, and, but they had like a lot of losses too. Um, yeah. Yeah. They, they definitely took some hits on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, obviously we know the defense is still going to be great, but there definitely were some hits on that side. Um, but yeah, I, now the IOC thing, I'm going to tell you right now, he is not getting traded this season. It's yeah, they happening. already came out and said that. Um, yeah. I mean, they came they, out and said that, but like you know, people are still throwing the trade rumors around. It's not happening. It's annoying. It, yeah, it's not. It's not going to happen. Uh, yeah. Ricky Persall, though, I've heard a lot of good things about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like he's going to be stud. The one thing that worries me is that he's on the pup list early, so it may take a little bit for him to get up and running, just because he's missing valuable practice time right now during this off season. Um. Yeah. But yeah, but, but I mean, like if Ayuk doesn't hold out, then the then Debo and Ayuk can still like hold the four. It's not like he's oh, yeah. Marvin Harrison Jr. or anything. It's like he can still study everything and mentally get it. But then it's going to take him some time physically to get it under under control. So right. Right, um, yeah. I do think the 49ers are going to win the division. I do think that they're going to make the like make a little bit of a run the playoffs just because of how light the playoffs are. But I don't think at this point they're getting past the Lions. Um. Okay. So, what are your thoughts on Brock Purdy? I think he is good because of the talent around him. I think he has the potential to be great but not in a Joe Montana, Steve Young great and more of like a slightly better than Jeff Garcia way. Um, but I think he has a good mind about him. Like he understands what he has to do. I, th I just think that sometimes Kyle Shanahan can overcomplicate things too. Yeah. I And I think I that think ultimately he's... that's going to be his down that downfall. I, I think, yeah, and obviously Shanahan, you know, handling late game situations and key moments is, has been a problem too. Um, but yeah, I, I think Purdy's underrated. I, I don't think he's getting his due. Um, yeah, there's a ton of talent around it, but I mean, you see some of the throws that he makes to get it to his guys. Like, he is very good. And it's about. I did like him in college. I figured that he would he would have gone higher um in the draft when he was drafted but um i did like him in college and i do think that he has talent but um i think if you take away some of what he has then i i don't think he's I, nobody's gonna be quite the same but if you start taking pieces away from joe burrow i think joe burrow can still make mediocre receivers look great I think Patrick Mahomes can make mediocre receivers look great. I don't think Brock Purdy has that kind of talent in him. 